Hello Plantu Files, this is Daniel and today I want to show you my grow tent. In my grow tent I grow mostly tropical plants as well as some hot peppers such as Thai chilies and Carolina reapers. The plants I'm growing are Monstera, Anturium and mostly Philodendron. Some of the plants I'm growing in the grow tent are Monstera Thai constellation. I actually have two Monstera Thai constellations in the tent and they're growing bigger and bigger. In addition to that Monstera, I'm growing Monstera Deliciosa variegata and also Monstera Adansoniae variegata. And here you see an Eskeleto. In terms of Anturium, I'm growing Anturium Metallicum, Crystallinum, as well as some pretty rare Philodendron, such as Philodendron Patricia, Philodendron Spiritus Sanctiae, and Philodendron Yuppiae. And I also have a lot of crawling plants, such as Philodendron Gloriosum, Mamai, and Plomaniae. But let's have a look at the tech in the grow tent. I'm using three different grow lights, two from Mars Hydro, one for the big ebb and flow system and one for the smaller ebb and flow system. I also use a grow light from IKEA, which is working quite well. As I mentioned, I have two ebb and flow systems and these are on a timer. So every four hours for 10 minutes, my plants are watered and there's also a nutrient solution in the water that makes sure that the plants get all the nutrients they need. All the plants are in a leka as a medium, which is quite perfect because this way they don't get root rot, although they're watered all the time. I'm also using racks from Amazon for my surplus plants that are growing there. These are mostly in a passive hydroponic system. That means they are in a container with water that I just refill whenever the water is running out. And I'm using also moss pots that I built up myself so the plants can rank and grow up bigger and bigger. Here you see the um, passive hydroponic system and a lot of crawling philodendron that I'm growing there. I'm also using the uh, Lekutsa pond uh, system, which is also a passive hydroponic system. Very important is that I also have ventilation in my grow tent because the humidity is usually between 60 and 90% and without ventilation I would get 90% or even more. And before the tent was smelling really uh, murky and then um, the air was just not good and, and very stagnant but I was able to change that by uh, using ventilators and here you also see a heating unit that goes on whenever the temperature gets uh, too low. I try to keep it at least in the uh, 60 degrees uh, Fahrenheit um, level and I don't want to go under that. So whenever it goes below 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the uh, heating system turns on automatically for a couple of minutes until it reaches this uh, temperature level again. As I mentioned, also the ventilation system uh, I am using is a AC infinity fan that also blows every four hours for half an hour to just blow in fresh air into the grow tent. It's extremely powerful. It has 10 levels or even more and I'm using it on level one and you will see that all the leaves are starting to shake. I just need to make sure that no water droplets remain on the leaves for too long because that could leave to mold and rot essentially. And here you see all my Monstera Adansonii plants. I have a lot of different variants as well as Monstera's ob obliquas. And here is a the smaller 
LED light from Mars Hydro, I never use them on 100% because even on 50 or 60% they are strong enough to illuminate all the plants and make sure that they get great growth. And here you see a anthurium plant growing a new leaf on the rack. And this is just another picture of the passive hydroponic system. The water looks a bit murky, but uh, it's perfectly fine. I get no root rot and I exchange the water frequently and um, all the new growth and the leaves are a testimony to that. But as you can see on the pictures, there's also leaves that don't look so nice. There's burnt leaves, there's leaves that got too dry and, and crispy. This is just natural. Uh, this is not Instagram, not everything looks perfect. This is my grow tent and how I grow my tropical plants in there. As I mentioned, I'm also growing a couple of hot chilies. So uh, I started to grow Carolina Reapers and also Thai chilies. The problem here mostly is that the humidity is really, really high in the grow tent. So a ventilation system really helps to push out the very humid air and make sure that fresh air can get into the tent and now you see again how the leaves are shaking and this is just on mode three or four i think and sometimes i also spray the plants now you see all the water droplets on the leaves uh, it's just important to make sure that it doesn't stay like this for longer than 30 minutes or so because otherwise you would get mold and rot but the humidity really helps for new new leaves to grow and also for air roots to grow and here you see an example of the uh, chili plants i'm growing these are two uh, thai chilies that are starting to grow and almost although unfortunately the uh, chili plants are a little bit uh, laggy but in between all the aeroid and tropical plants they still get hold and can grow chili peppers and now you see how the tent looks when it's uh, completely open. Uh, in summertime, I keep it open, but in winter, I close it entirely. So this way, the humidity is really, really high. And also, it doesn't get too cold in the winter time. I allow the, um, the temperature to drop down at night. That's no problem. It can go in the, in the 60s and even lower. That's perfectly fine for the uh, plants, but it shouldn't uh, be like this at daytime where I try to keep a constant temperature. I also recently started to use a, a camera so I can watch my plants from afar. Whenever I uh, want to see my plants, I just log into the VLAN camera and then I can see all the plants. And now here you see again how I'm spraying them uh, with uh, water and the, the leaves and the plants just look just so much healthier and better when they are, are wet. But as I mentioned before, it shouldn't stay like that for too long. And here is a close up of the Monstera Thai constellation, which is already huge. And this is a Philodendron Majestic. Uh, you see some yellowing on the uh, edges. It's mostly too, uh, due to too much light and also sometimes of course uh, because because of uh, too much uh, water but the grow tent works perfectly and now you see myself just closing the uh, grow tent this uh, was my full grow tent tour i hope you like this video if so please give it a like follow this channel and also hit the notification bell so you're always in informed when new videos come out thank you so much for watching this was daniel from plantophile see you again soon and goodbye bye bye